Hi, welcome to Tech Tutorials HD, today we will learn how to give an image a retro effect, we will also apply a speed blur effect, this is going to be very easy for newbies, you just have to follow these steps. So first of all, open your image to the Photoshop. Alright so we have our image opened in Photoshop, now duplicate the image layer. Now go to the selection tool and adjust the brush size according to the size of the area you want to select. Select the image area using the selection tools as shown in the video. Now we need to invert the selection by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus I. Now press the delete button and it will delete all the selected area. Now press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selected area. You can also do this by going into select menu. Now make sure that our top player is selected and move it slightly to the left. Now go to filter, then choose blur. Select motion blur from the menu. You can adjust the motion blur intensity accordingly. Now select round eraser of about 130 pixels, also make sure that opacity is set to 45% and flow is at 60%. Now we need to ear some blur from our player's body. Now go to our top player and duplicate it one more time. Now go to the image modes and select screen from the list. Create a new fill adjustment layer as shown in the video. We will create a brightness contrast layer to make our photo more bright and full of contrast. Once we are done adjusting the brightness, create a new gradient map from the same menu. Click OK and it will turn our image to black and white. Create one more gradient map and then choose purple to orange gradient from the gradient selection menu. You can see the color codes and change them if you want to have different shades on your photo. As you can see that the colors are very strong right now so we will set this layer to color dog. This will fade the colors and give a retro effect to our image. Put the layer opacity to 50%. Now we need to create a new gradient layer on the top and make sure that angle of the gradient is adjusted according to the source of the light in your image. Now select the black color of the gradient and replace it with an orange shade. Also change the other side of black to slightly brownish color, then we are good to close this gradient menu. Put this layer to linear dodge. Now reduce the opacity of this layer to about 44%. So, as our image is ready, we have reached the end of this video. We upload interesting tutorials every Wednesday so please stay tuned. Thanks for watching.